Hey kids, it's me, Teacher A. In this video, we're going to answer this permutation problem. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's deal with this first question. There are five couples, okay, who want to have their pictures taken. And then we're asked, in how many ways can they arrange themselves in a row if they may stand anywhere. So, that means walang restrictions ito. Kahit saan sila pumesto. But, you have to be careful kasi baka five ang gamitin ninyo. Okay? So, here, we don't have five objects. Okay? We have ten objects. Kasi, di ba, one couple has two objects. Okay? Two persons. So, if we have five couples here, we have ten people in all. We're going to arrange ten people in a row. Alright? So, it's nice to recall this permutation formula. So, to get the number of possible arrangements, ganito lang siya. We evaluate ten factorial. So, in this problem, we have this. Okay? So, this one is equal to? 10 factorial. And we can write 10 factorial in its expanded form, like this. And finally, you may want to get the numerical value of this factorial. Okay? And that is equal to this value. So, there are 3,628,800 ways to arrange the five couples in a row. Okay? Such that they may stand anywhere. Alright? What about this? Okay? So, we have a different condition here. Still, we have five couples, but this time, okay, instead of, you know, standing anywhere, okay, here, couples must stay together. Okay? Dapat magkakatabi sila. Okay? So, let's first name all the five couples. Okay, let's name them as A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so it's like couple A, couple B, couple C, couple D, couple E. Alright? Okay. So, sige nga, can you give me some possible arrangements? So, pwedeng, ganyan. Nauuna yung couple A, and then followed by B, then followed by couple C, couple D, and then couple E. Okay? Pwede rin ganito yung arrangement. Sabi ni couple C kay couple D, uy, palit tayo ng position. So, kaya naging ganito. Okay? O pwede rin, ganito. Okay? C, E at D naman ang nagpalit ng position. Okay? Pwede rin ganito. Okay? So, here are some, actually four lang, no? Four possible arrangements of the five couples. Okay. My question is, what is the total number of possible arrangements? Gano kaya kadam yon? Okay? Since we are arranging five couples in a row, obviously this is a linear permutation problem. So we can deal with this problem in this way. We can have five blanks and then ikakaut lang natin yung mga possible choices. For example, dito sa first blank. Okay, how many choices do we have? We have five couples to choose from. So that's why we have five here. And then for the next position, we only have four couples left. So that's why four here. And so on. Sa so third position, tatlong couple na lang ang pagpipilian natin. And then here, we only have two couples left. At ito, isa na lang. And then we get their product. Yan yung magsasabi kung ilan ang total ng possible arrangements ng limang couples. Okay? And then, if you do the math, you will get 120 ways. Okay? Now, my question is, ito ba yung final answer para sa question na ito? The answer is, no. Because, couple to, right? It is this one, for example, A. This one is couple A. So, that means may dalawang tao na bumubuo dito. Okay? And itong dalawang tao nito, they can switch positions also. 
to have a clear picture of this problem, let's make use of a tree diagram. Okay, but don't forget we have 120 ways of arranging five couples. Okay, pero yun nga, hindi pa natin consider yung pag-switch ng position, for example, nitong couple A. Okay, so let me show you kung anong mangyayari. Okay, so di ba we have 120 ways. Sabihin natin, or let's choose one out of 120 ways. Okay, ito. Okay, so para mas simple, piliin na lang natin yung ganitong arrangement. Couple A first, and then couple B, then couple C, couple D, and then lastly, we have couple E. Okay, so isang arrangement yan out of 120 ways. Okay, so now let's have this. Ito yung isang arrangement out of 120 ways. Okay, ngayon, si couple A muna ang i-arrange natin. Okay, alam natin pwedeng ganito yung position niya. Ito, ito yung couple, si A1 at si A2. Okay, and then it's also possible that they switch positions. Okay, like this. Si A2 muna and then si A1, right? Okay, so after na position si couple A, si couple B naman. Okay, so for example, ito yung napiling position ni couple A. Okay. Oh, sabi ng photographer, okay, next couple, paano yung position ninyo? May dalawang possible positions pa rin si couple B. Ganito yun. Yeah? Si B1, B2, or B2, then B1. Right? Okay. So, ganun din dito. Kung ito naman yung napili ni couple A na position, and then si couple B naman ang papipili ng position, there are still two other possible positions. Yan yun. Okay, so nakita nyo, nagba-branch out lang yan. Okay, kaya ang tawag dito, um, tree diagram. By the way, meron akong video about tree diagrams. Doon, mas na-discuss ko ng maayos ang tree diagram. Please find the fundamental counting principle video. Alright? Ilalagay ko yung link sa i button above. Okay, let's continue. So, after ma-position yung couple B, si couple C naman. So, ganito yon. Kunyari si couple A, ito yung napili nilang position, A1, A2. Tapos si couple B, ito yung napili nilang position, B1, B2. Tapos pipili ng position si C, si couple C. And there are still two possible positions for couple C. And ito yun. Okay? So dito nilagyan ko na rin ng possible position si couple C. Alright? Okay, so ganun din naman ang gagawin dito sa dalawa dito. Okay? So, parang kung ito yung napili ni couple A na position, A2, A1, tapos biglang si B, B1, B2, or pwede rin, A2, A1 yung couple A, and then B2, B1 yung couple B. Tapos si couple C, ganito ang mga possible positions. Okay? And then, you are just going to continue in this manner. Okay? So, for example, itong C1, C2. Okay, ano yung mga possible um, arrangement ng couple D? Diba? D1, D2, pwede rin D2, D1. So, magbabranch out lang siya in this way. Okay? And then finally, si couple E naman. So, ganito ang itsura niya. Alright? So, if you count, okay, galing dito ha. So, A1, A2. Okay, tapos B1, B2. Tapos nag-branch out na sila. Okay? So nakita nyo, if you count, you have, I think, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 outcomes here or 8 possible arrangements. Okay? So parang A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, D1, D2, E1, E2. That's one possible arrangement. Tapos babalik ulit kayo dito. A1, A2, B1, B2. C1, C2, this time D2, D1, okay? And then E1, E2, that's another possible arrangement. Okay, gawa pa tayo ng isa. So, for example, tapos nang iposition yung couple C, si couple D naman. So, mag-branch out siya in this way. Okay, hanggang kay couple E. And then, if you check, you also have eight possible arrangements here. 
Okay? So, please check out my video on fundamental accounting principle para mas maintindihan ninyo ang tree diagram. Okay? So, if we have 8 here and 8 here also, so malamang kapag kinompleto nyo ang um, tree diagram para dito, 8 then, right? Dito kay B2, B1. Okay? Dito rin, may 8 then. Okay? So, please try to complete this tree diagram. At makikita nyo, there are 32 possible arrangements here. Okay? So, 32. But let me remind you again, ito ay para lang sa isang arrangement out of 120 ways. So, do you imagine that? Okay? So, kapag dalawa yung kinuha nating arrangement out of 120 ways, magkakaroon tayo ng 32 plus 32 possible arrangements. So, if we go back to our question, okay, there are 120 times 32 ways on how to arrange the five couples such that the couples stay together. All right? Here. Okay, so we have 3,840 ways. Okay? So, I think that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like this video, share this video to your friends, and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.